guys. On the first day of VBS, we talked about what it means to be on the Olympic team. How athletes train to be on a team to represent their country. We also talked about God's team. I told you a story about Moses and Aaron and her and how they were all on a team together to serve the Lord and that we get to be on God's team too. On VBS day two, we talked about how we were ready. How did the Olympians become ready? Well, they train really hard to be strong and fast and the best athletes that they can be. And so on God's team, I told you the Bible story about King Josiah and how he trained God's people to be ready by telling them about God's word. And that's what we get to do every day, too. We get to hear God's word every day so that we're ready for Jesus. On VBS Day 3, that was yesterday, we said, are you set? Just before the race, the call says, runners, take your mark. Set! And all the runners stand perfectly still, set, stable, and balanced to start their race. And so I told you the story about David and Goliath and how God had made David prepared, ready, and set to do whatever it was God asked of him, including defeating the mighty giant Goliath, and how God makes us set, balanced, poised by forgiving our sins, by taking all of our sins away and, and preparing us for heaven. We are set to do whatever it is God asks of us. Well, here we are on VBS Day 4. Ready, set, Gold. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm going to save the gold for tomorrow. Today, we're just going to go with go. Ready, set, go. The athletes, when they hear that word, go. Take off and run as fast as their legs can take them. Swim as hard as they can. Do any competition that they're ready for in the Olympics. Today I'd like to tell you another Bible history story about how God made his people ready to go out and into the world to serve him. Today I want to tell you about two men, one named Caleb and the other Joshua. God's people had been without a land for a very, very long time. And now they were so close to the promised land. And so God told Moses to pick out 12 men to go into the promised land and take a look around. Is the land good or is the land bad? Are the people there strong or are they weak? Are the cities fortified with a wall around the outside? Maybe even if you see some of the fruit in the land, you could bring that back to us so we could see what is inside the land that God had promised. So Moses picked out 12 men, including Joshua and Caleb. They walked through the promised land for 40 days. And indeed they did see what a beautiful land God had promised his people. It was so beautiful that they said 
It was a land flowing with milk and honey. What a pretty way to describe the promises God had planned for his people. The 12 men went through and they found the people there were very strong. And as a matter of fact, they were so strong, they looked like giants to them. They did see the cities were so very well built with big strong walls around them. And when they came across the fruit of the land, they found grapes. Not little tiny grapes like we see in the store, but the grapes were big, such big giant grapes that to take one cluster, they had to string it on a pole and carry it between two men to get it back to show to Moses. Forty days passed, and the twelve men came back, and they gave their report to the people. Caleb stood up and said, This land is very blessed. We should go up and conquer it. But the people didn't hear Caleb's eagerness. No, instead, when they heard about how tall the people were, they became terrified and they said, we're just going to look like grasshoppers among them. No, we're terrified. We cannot go and fight in this land. We're too afraid. Then Joshua stood up with Caleb and they both together said, the Lord will fight for us. The Lord will be on our side. He has promised us this land. And if it is his will that we should have it, he will make it so. We should go into the land God has promised us for he will surely help us. But God's people were afraid. They were too afraid to trust in God, and they grumbled. So God told Moses, I'm not going to let any of these people into the land that was promised to them. They lost that chance. Anybody who's 20 years old or older right now will not go into the promised land except for Joshua and Caleb because they trusted in me. And that's exactly what happened. Those people's children were allowed into the promised land, but anyone who grumbled and did not trust was not given the privilege of entering the promised land, except for Caleb and Joshua. And after Moses was done being the leader, God made Joshua the leader of his people. Ready, set, go. Joshua and Caleb were ready to go. They were ready to go into the promised land and serve God there. What does that mean for you and me? Are we ready to go? Sometimes I don't feel like it. Sometimes I feel afraid. And when I feel afraid, that's my sin. My sin makes me afraid and not wanting to go out and serve God. But that's why Jesus came. He came to forgive that sin. He came to forgive me when I'm naughty. He did that by dying on the cross for me. And by rising again on Easter, he made me able to rise. And by going to heaven, he made me able to go to heaven too. And so I am ready to go into the world and serve God. He has made you ready to go in the same way. Jesus has forgiven your sin. And now you're ready to help other people. 
How can you be helpful? How can you help the people around them? Can you clean for them? Can you be a good listener? Can you learn everything that you need to be learning? How else can you go? Can you go into the world and serve God by being joyful, happy, and cheerful? Can you sing songs of praise and happiness? Yes, you can. God has made you ready, set, and able to go. That brings me to our memory treasure for today. It comes from Galatians chapter 6, verse 10, and it says, Let us do good to all people. Can you say that with me? Let us do good to all people. God bless you today as you go for Jesus. Let's pray. Jesus. Help me love and serve you better every day. Teach me to be kind to others as I work or play. Amen. Bye-bye.